There's more printed, there's less printed money in the world than there is time deposits. And about two years ago when I was doing these maths, uh, 7.2 trillion in time deposits, 5 trillion in printed cash. We also... Accident. Time deposits includes any what, like... Well, you, you go banking, to your bank. CDs, stocks. Yeah, well, no, just just banks. Just bank. Yeah, so you, you go to your bank and you're like, hey, I got a savings account, give me interest. They're like, sure, here's pitiful interest. You're like, can I get more? Sure, lock it up for a while. That's what they're. It's just right. a time lock. The bank will never lend your money up. Your money is a liability to them, not an asset. It's on the wrong side of the, the balance sheet. They will never lend your money up. Instead, they will use your money as a security. A security to back up their loans they get from the government leveraged up 10 to 1. So they will take the $100 that you give them and borrow 10 times that from the federal government at extremely low interest rates and then lend out 10 times the money. Why would they lend out your money when they could only lend it out at a 1 to 1 ratio when they can lend out the virtual money that they inflate out of thin air from the Fed and, and lend out 10 times as much money and make 10 times as much profit minus a little bit of margin mm. for, the, for the interest that the Fed charges them. So in reality, everyone's yield at your bank and your time deposit or bank account is from inflation. It's from the government inflating the money supply. It's not from actually lending your money out. Your money never gets lent out. Your money is just an excuse that the government likes to see to print infinite other money and lend that out, which is why we have all-time high prices for almost everything and uh, all-time low dollar value. All the yield from everything is from inflation. So your yield in the stock market is because the Fed keeps printing money. It's not because GDP went up. It's not because earnings went up. It's because the money has to go somewhere, and it primarily goes into stocks and real estate. And so if you have a future known market supply of something where there's not some guys in a shady room voting on what the value of money is, that's what the Fed is. The Fed is not a federal agency. Right. The Federal Reserve is a private company run by private people who you do not elect who decide the value of money globally. Mm -hmm. And they haven't been doing a good job of it, which is why we've got all-time high inflation rates for 40 years. We haven't seen inflation this bad since the 70s. It's a bad job on their part, and it causes misinvestment and mal investment by forcing people to hunt yield to cancel out the inflation. And so they invest in every stupid thing you can to try and make some returns, like the Celsius. People put their whole stack in Celsius to try and get 7 or 8% a year, then they lost their whole stack. I begged everyone directly to remove their coins from that years before they collapsed.